it's key to introduce a self-care plan in an um, era where we're using a lot of oncolytics, primarily because the side effects profile of these drugs, they're, in, they're not as typical as your traditional um, intravenous antineoplastics or cancer drugs, There's, the side effects still exist. There's a value in helping the patient to understand what their anticipated side effects are, when to expect them, and how to manage them. So coming up with a plan from the beginning. This is where I can anticipate, this is what I can expect, when it occurs, this is how I should handle it, would significantly help the patients who adhere to these drug therapies. Some studies have reported that in, with the era of uh, oral oncolytics, non-adherence rates range up to 30%. That's significant. What this would do is that it would affect disease the course of the disease. Because if the patient stops the drug abruptly, the physician does not know that, and now we see the disease progressing, that has, on, that has an effect that the patients and the, the physician may not like. Beyond that, we also know that if the patient has a self-care plan, that will ultimately help us in decreasing the severity of symptoms. In other words, if I'm on a drug that I know could potentially cause diarrhea, and I have discussed that with the patient, and I say to them, at the first sign of diarrhea, call me, they're more likely to call. They might not think that it's just some bad food that I ate. What that will translate into less likely for them to be severely dehydrated and end up in a hospital. So that would decrease utilization of hospital resources. And I think ultimately as payers, we're inter the payers are interested in seeing that the care and the cost of these drugs are so astronomical. We don't want patients on a drug and they take only a few doses and stop it. In the meanwhile, you spend thousands of dollars of, on, the, on the product. And that's because they didn't fully understand what the, the side effect profile is and how to manage those symptoms. So I think providing a self-care plan would significantly help the patients.